Capcom 3. The world's greatest heroes are all here. Lay claim to your glorious victory. The fight is on. What's up guys, J Mooney's here, and it's been about a month since I've done a commentary, so thought I'd do another one of these. Been focusing a lot on the short form videos, but that's kind of mainly due to my jealousy of Lethro and his uh, amazing Phoenix Wright comeback videos. If you haven't seen any of his stuff, I highly recommend you check him out. Dude is hilarious and a very good editor. But, yeah, look at that! I'm, I'm at the third Lord rank. Who knew it was possible? Back in November, when I just started playing this game again, I remember I was complaining about how I was in seventh Lord, and it was like super hard because people got really good all of a sudden, but yeah, somehow managed to jump four ranks, so that's pretty excellent, and this guy, oh shit, <laughs> this guy is going to have the most epic Doom comeback ever at this rate. Ah, uh, shit, oh, or not, Whew. how about that? First game, first win. I'm awesome. I, you know, I was actually having a pretty tough time today and last night. Uh, I think I must have had about like a 70% loss ratio against fifth lords for whatever reason. Kind of got out of my funk, but um, I, I hope this means that's good now. <laughs> How have you guys been doing? Um, I feel like the hype on Marvel's been just on a downward slope, um, tournament events included, I don't know. I saw Winter Brawl the other day, I was kind of like, uh, I mean, it's it was cool, but at the same time, like, you know, people just kind of rage quitting at the end of the matches and stuff. All the Chris G matches, of course, but I think it's kind of, it kind of goes to show how formulaic this game is starting to feel now that <laughs> when people just quit because they're like oh well that's over it's almost like starcraft in a weird way which i was never a big fan of but i don't know let me know do most of you guys still follow marvel or is it just oh shit bw cool I just played like a good hour of sets against him earlier today. Really cool dude. He actually has a YouTube channel as well, so I would recommend checking him out if you're looking for another dude to, to watch. Um, but yeah, he said he was going to make me a combo video uh, with all my characters. And he said that if he could pull off a, a raw tag combo that I own 20 bucks. So. We'll see what he can do with that. I'd be really impressed if he could pull that off. Let's switch back to Iron Man because I don't know how to tag people in safely. Oh, jeez. One of these teams. Picture. Picture. Oh, he already got the level 5. Nice. That is going to be a difficult one. So new on the list of characters I'm having trouble with, in addition to Spencer, uh, people are getting way too good at getting level 5 Frank now. It's like ridiculous. And why did that drop? And why did that not... What the hell? Alright, well... I don't think I can guarantee victory on this particular match, but... I will go down fighting. Oh, still not enough. Freaking Iron Man. Oh, shit! Iron Man, defeated by his alcoholism. Gotta watch out for that, that 
freaking invincibility. But yeah, how have you guys been doing with Marvel? Have have you guys been playing it again? I know some people have come back, but not that many. A lot less than I thought would. I mean, don't tell me you're all playing Cross Tekken. Not that there's anything wrong with Cross Tekken. I was actually having fun with it for a while, but in the end, it was just, I don't know. It's hard to get into it when no one was getting excited. I haven't been keeping up with the patch notes lately, but I mean, from what I hear, I guess the game's functional from a tournament perspective now, so. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not sure I want to pick that up again just yet. And even if I did, <laughs> it's, it's tough because I find myself conflicted. Like, if I were to play Cross Tekken, I think I would want to throw down for the Android Girl. And that means I'd have to either ditch Mega Man or Xiaoyu, which, uh, you know, it's my character loyalty there. So, I will cross that bridge when I get there. In the meantime, I will continue to enjoy Marvel, even though Capcom has cut off life support. But yeah, as you can see, thinking about swapping out Nova with Nemesis, the epiphany came to me the other day when I was like, I wonder what would happen if I had a team of all heavy hitters. And I wanted to actually have Hulk, Nemesis, and Thor. Only problem is, uh, despite Thor's super slow speed, he's actually really, like, input heavy. Or how would I put it? Execution heavy. And, like, if any of you have been watching me this entire time, you would know that Shoryuken motion is probably my biggest... <laughs> My biggest fatal flaw in all the fighting games. Welcome to the world of Marvel versus Capcom 3. So, I don't know, maybe. Iron Beam Assist is also way too good to give up. Now that I have it, it is just like... I can't not use it now. There, there's no way I'm going to use it. Just on sheer principle. Here we go, Mr. Sawa, Fifth Lord, and that ridiculous win-to-loss ratio. I've actually been noticing that at the moment it is 11.30 on the West Coast. And this is when all the ridiculously good low rankers come out to play, I've noticed. I'm not exactly sure why that is unless those people are like just playing this entire time and not sleeping, but freaking, yeah, you run into like a good 5 to 1 win to loss ratio with these 5th one people, and they're like killing my rank all the time. But I don't know, I don't know, uh, do you guys play that late at night? Or is it just like the thing I do? Granted, I only do this on the weekends. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed that my video output has gone a little down compared to before. And to be honest, I've been working like pretty late hours that prevent me from playing as much as I used to, so that's kind of my situation here. So if if you're trying to reach out to play to me, I apologize. It's just that like yeah, I'm usually about to go to sleep right away or something like that. I mean, I'm not even talking about these matches, and I can't believe I wasted all that goddamn red health. <sighs> Let's see. Morgan, Akuma team. This guy's big mistake, however, is that he's not putting Akuma into third. Which is really where he's most dangerous, I feel like. That said, I don't really have Hulk anymore, and I just made a stupid rocket punch move. So this could actually be a lot harder than I was expecting, but... Like a lot of people online these days, I'm guessing this Morgan is trying to do the only fireball strategy, which... is way too defensive to be effective, especially when you're in your last stand. 
Okay, without assist, but let's see. What's this guy? Oh, really? He's gonna do that. I'll just repulsive blast. Oh, careless. So careless. I should not lose to this person. Yeah. Oh, come back! This is a comeback! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I was worried there for a second. That could have been so bad, but... <laughs> That's what happens when you play Runaway, when you're tied with the other dude. And you think you want to be like Chris G, but you can't be. Granted, I wasn't that much better. All I did was stand there and Repulsor Blast, but honestly... If that's all you need to do... Like, why do anything else, right? But yeah, lots of interesting potential with Nemesis here. Oh. Really good team synergy with Hulk, actually, which I should have seen earlier because when I first met Ertola, I believe he was running with the Hulk Nemesis team, and he was doing really well, so... We'll see. I'll have to do some player matches before I actually get into implementing it. But. I don't know. It's, it sounds stupid, but like, I have a really hard time with B teams. Like, I feel like the minute I start splitting my attention to other characters, my main team starts to suffer for it. Granted, rank isn't all that important in the grand scheme of things, but I would like to make it to second lord if I actually could. Although I get the feeling that's not going to happen for several months just because the progression's been really slow. Hulk, Sentinel, Phoenix. These either go really good or really bad. So we'll find out. Oh, nice. Ah, stupid! What was that? <sighs> nice. I know the crouching light. Come on. Oh, of course he'll win. Sadly, for someone who plays Hulk as often as I do, I definitely... Oh my god. Now I'm totally gonna lose. I'm definitely not used to playing Hulk as much as I should be. Oh jeez. This guy's Hulk is so much better than mine. What? He whiffed or he X factored before the gamma wave, but how did he pick me up? Huh. Alright. Well, kudos to you, Revis. 1601. I should be learning stuff from you, actually. Go for broke. Uh, Fight. Let's see here. However long it takes to get another ranked match. It's not even that late in the day. 11.30? That's nothing. I should have ex excellent latency games. XGM 23, second claim to your glorious victory. Ooh. Alright. A team full of characters I do not do well against. Fight! 
crappy lag on top of that. Thankfully, since this team is a lot more execution heavy though, I might be able to get an edge on him just because of Hulk, but we'll see how it goes. Light? Oh, nice. He's ready for the big toe. Oh. Sorry, Iron Man. Freaking Virgil. Who is totally the new Wesker of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. I wanted to say it was Doom before, but... What the hell? And he was ready for that, of course. Shame on me for not being able to seal the deal with Nova. Oh, I really hope this doesn't turn into a lot of me losing. Okay. Somehow he blocked that. Okay, excellent. We can make this work. I can have a comeback. X Factor. Will that hit? No. There you go, I'm gonna come out fast enough. That's that one. I should have just X Factor first and did a normal one too. Okay, with any luck, this might work. Oh shit. I want to say. Oh my god, really? Well, that's no good. That is. Yeah. Figures. I was... Couldn't jump out of that. Way too much block stuff. So that... So that happened. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get some more wins in on this playthrough here. 18 minutes. Here come some new challengers. Oh, again. Welcome to the world of Marvel versus Capcom. At the least, where the finest heroes assemble. This guy isn't... I don't know. Ever since I hit the third Lord, I've been running into a lot of, uh, a lot of guys who taunt online. Not really sure what the deal is. A lot of teabagging, and then they wait till the very last minute before doing taunts. Never used to run into that in the lower ranks. Granted, they rage quitted a lot more. But... Oh, okay. Wasn't sure if he was afraid of Gamma Crush. That's way too good a lot of that. Terrible. Oh my god. That was pretty good though. Crossed up. Corner. No lightning moves though. I would have thought that would have What? Oh wow. 
even that didn't hit him. Oddly enough, Gamma Crush will actually go through a lot of level 3s. Sometimes has enough time to get those invincibility frames out before they hit. Man, can I at least kill somebody? As much as I hate doing it, it really is Iron Man like strength. Oh, and he was not there. Oh, X Factor. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be a long road to Second Lord. Gonna need a breakthrough. I'm not exactly sure what I'm missing, <laughs> other than that I keep dropping my combos. Sorry. Oh shit, he's a first lord. That dude was second lord when I played him this morning. This is not a good sign. There can be only one winner. What I learned about Aerial Gamma Charge is that it is almost safe. Oh, okay, good. I was afraid I was going to drop that. <laughs> it is almost safe when you hit someone who's on the ground, but when they're in the air, they have the advantage on you because landing resets the stun. This guy is no better than mine. Better. Aha! Bullshit cross up. Problem is, even though I'm winning now, the new Wesker's hanging in back. Once he pops that level three X factor, though, that's when that's when shit gets scary. No level 3. X Factor. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think Iron Man can clutch this one. Doesn't have enough meter for it. Oh, jeez. Why did I back down? Damn it. This guy's a taunter. Too bad he didn't have enough time after that. Hyper. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I don't know, I think I need a breakthrough to pass this next hurdle. And the last time, I mean, playing how I was before, that could have got me to like, fourth lord probably. I think what really set me over the top was the assist synergy that I was getting from Iron Man and Nova. Obviously more so with Iron Man, but at this point, there's like one more thing I need in order to make this work. I don't quite know what. I mean, obviously it would be better if I didn't drop my combos, but... 
some aspect I'm looking I'm gonna take over, you I feel like. Ride. It's it's probably has something to do with the way I've been raw tagging my characters and not finding a more organic way to pull them in. I'm afraid this guy might actually Pit Scout, I mean that's usually a pretty good. Oh jeez. I don't want to lose like this. Not to a Pit Scout. Come on. Oh shit. We're even again. Somehow that caught him. I don't expect that. Either this guy is psychic, or he's just pressing down on the THCs all the time. Oh, jeez. Not to zero. Shit. Oh, last hit. And zero. I'm so glad I mastered the timing of that one. Which sucks because it's like the only thing I can do with Iron Man. I actually have been trying to work on a ground combo with him, but. X Factor! Oh no. No! See, this is like. He's got the gimlet. He's got to jump backwards. He's got to do a level 3 to. Oh no! Yeah, I didn't have the I did have the right idea, but uh, crossed him up the wrong way. That is a sucky way to lose. I hate that Iron Man has two proton cannons. Like one proton cannon is shit. It doesn't do enough damage, it does too many hits. Too much damage scaling. And rather than give him like War Destroyer or something, because all of his moves are ripped off from previous games, they're like, oh, let's just give him two. Would've been nice if he had something with like, Invincible Startup, but I don't know. Not like he's top tier or anything. Hits. One thing I learned the other day is if you time the DHC right, Nemesis will actually get all his hits in. Oh, damn crush. It's pretty valuable, I feel like. Alright, M9 Free Game Ninja. Welcome to the world of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. The world's greatest heroes are all... Alright, well since we're almost at 30 minutes here, let's... Let's cut it off at the next victory. Hopefully, it won't take forever. There can be only one winner. Phoenix Wright team, though. You never know what's gonna happen with these. It's do or die. He's also got Doom for safety. What? Off to a bad start. That's okay. Wow. Hulk ducked under Iron Fist. Since when does that ever happen? Let's see if this is enough. I don't think it'll be enough. Oh shit. Alright. Can I chip him? Oh, 
Good. Iron Man versus Doom. Usually, pretty good matchup when he's not level three X Factor. That is, I don't even think he's gonna need ABA. Yeah, he doesn't need to go. Gotta be okay. Never mind. Well, that's like oh. It's really frustrating. It's like I've gotten worse with Nova. No! Oh shit. This is bad because it could really go either way. Oh, okay, never mind. Do not do a missile when Hulk is coming into the screen. That is not safe. Well, that was a relief. I don't think I could have been happy with losing to another fifth lord today. <laughs> After all the millions this morning. But anyways. Also, in case you didn't notice, I have a new mic. Uh, let me know if it sounds better. Or maybe my editing's just shit, but... Yeah, hopefully I'll be doing more of these soon, and I don't know if enough of if there are enough of you guys out there who are down for lobbies, I would love to do another live lobby listening. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching as usual. Check out BW Cool's channel, by the way, and if you haven't, check out Lethero, L Y T H E R O, or I believe you can find him on YouTube as L I N K three. K-O-K-I-R-I. -I. Dude's videos are really funny. But yeah, have a good night, folks.